Hi, I'm Mark Cabra. I'm the director of Blindsided. Hi, I'm Maria Rosolo. I am one of the producers on Blindsided, and I also play Carly St. John's. And Blindsided is a dark, twisted tale of a blind, beautiful, psychic woman who is trapped in a hotel room with a career criminal named Randy Myers, and they have to figure out which one of them is going to get out alive. Um, well, initially, Mark and I had shot previously a film in December outdoors, hoping for warm weather because it was supposed to be warm weather season. And after that, we decided never again in the winter months to shoot outdoors in New York City. So we were on a mission to find something that took place inside and um, that had something challenging that I could tackle. And Mark found it on a website called Ink Tip. And um, you can take it from there. <laughs> I like the story because it was a dark kind of twisted tale. I like the fact that the fact that it was about a psychic who used her abilities for herself instead of for good indoors. and indoors <laughs> and I like the ending I didn't see the ending I was literally blindsided by the ending Um, the second film is called Withdrawal, and that one um, we actually received a Panavision New Filmmaker grant in order to produce, which was great. And we got a lot of uh, gifts in kind from Kodak and, you know, um, where else? Like, I think uh, Gotham Sound. Like, a lot of people really chipped in to help make that possible. And that is um, another character study um, that came about because, you know, there's so much going on with war and, and really talking about women finally making it to the front of uh, the lines and seeing more combat and just casualties. And it was something that we just wanted to explore. It's a, it's a short piece. It's very, means a lot to me anyhow. I'm very passionate about it. Um, you know, it's, it's, um, it's out there now. And that's really all I can say about that one. So I just hope people see it. Plus it's indoors. <laughs> no, that one's not indoors. <laughs> but it was shot when it was still warmer <laughs> and rainy. Um, let's see. Well, withdrawal was I've never um, worked with film before, and that has its own challenges all to itself. It's uh, the film making is fun and, and great, but the post production on film, um, there's a reason more people are making films today digitally than could make them when it was actually shot on 16 or 35. It's just very cumbersome and long, and from start to finish, it's you really need to stay committed, otherwise, it's not going to happen. I don't know, with Blindsided, the biggest uh, challenge? I guess Blindsided was just that we had to shoot in a very limited space mm -hmm. uh, in a short period of time. And Maria was actually blind during the <laughs> film because <laughs> the lenses wouldn't allow her to see. And it was just physically daunting, you know, shooting a, a lot of setups in a quick period of time. Yeah, we had a pretty big, uh, you know, the orchestrating everything was really important just because it had to be believable to everybody that, you know, if she's neat, well, why is she neat? You know, everything's got to be a certain way. And so um, our set decorator, you know, she really paid very close attention to the details and worked with Mark and worked with I on, you know, from Carly's shoes being lined up to how her, her things would be laid out on the desk or, or, you know, what sort of makeup she would wear because, you know, she'd have something because she's a professional, but obviously she's not putting anything on that's complicated. <laughs> so, you know, just really making it realistic so that nobody's brought out of the story. And they're like, what? That would never happen that way. Like, what? She's blind. <laughs> yeah, Lisa Sever did actually a great job. Yeah. Uh, Mark had suggested, and I was able to do this a bit, there's a school on 23rd Street and um, where they train blind people to just use the canes and just to, to kind of get around. And so, you know, we had gone there and we had watched that a little bit. And then on top of it, there's a couple of really great documentaries out there that I really looked through. And then Mark and I talked and made some decisions about Carly's blindness. I mean, what we talked about early on is, you know, was she born blind or did she become blind? And he said, no, Carly was probably born blind, which is why... You know, she's really made it so important um, to use other skills and just little things like that. And, you know, it doesn't hurt to watch other actors' performances who have portrayed blind to see what they picked up and what their decision was. But um, I think it's really each person, it's, it's an individual because no person handles anything the same way. It's like when you study accents, mm -hmm. you know, a French a native French, French speaker speaking English is not going to have the same accent as another one because it depends on where they learn their English. The same thing with the blind person. So you take a little bit from everybody, I guess is the long answer. Yeah, plus also, you know, during the later rehearsals, I actually had Maria do it blind. I actually had her close her eyes or we put a blindfold on her. So when she moved through the space, she physically couldn't see it. 
and I wanted to get used to groping around and feeling around. Yeah, and he would put chairs in front of me and laugh as I'd fall <laughs> over them to make I sure I was I forgot about that. I forgot oh, about yeah. that. Oh, yeah. I didn't forget about that. <laughs> yeah, I used to trip for that just for laughs. So. <laughs> to make sure I wasn't cheating. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot all about that. <laughs>